Hello everyone, before I get underway with the Price is Right pricing and recap for tonight, I need to finish off the quote that I'm 264 shirt said at the end of the Price is Right pricing and recap yesterday for John Lennon Remembrance Day. And it was, we hope someday you'll join us and the world will live as one. I apologize to I'm 264 shirt for cutting him short there. And I sure he'll he can forgive me for that. Plus, I want to give a shout out to Mason Ben 2011, who is just one subscriber away from 50 subscribers. And I also want to point out to him that I knew about Pro Harbor Remembrance Day back on December 7th. But I do want to thank him for pointing that out to me, even though I already knew about Pro Harbor Remembrance Day on the 7th. And finally, to NBC 11 News Clips, who did his very first price game recap on his channel yesterday. Good job, NBC 11 News Clips. Mr. Horgan's disclaimer. The opinions expressed toward contestants on the price is right. In their decision-making and pricing, that can be categorized as either stupid or misleading by the audience, plus showing favoritism specifically toward attractive females, is portrayed as an eel characteristic for entertainment purposes only. In actuality, no prejudice is shown toward the And now it's time for the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap for Friday, December 9th, 2011. Just this here. Okay. Today's price games played were the following to the week. Most expensive, Lucky 7, Punch a Bunch, Freeze Frame, that's too much, and one light price. The first contestant was David, spelled D-A-B-I-I-D, who retired after 25 years of being an elevator man. He played most expensive for a propane gas grill model by Ravishing Rachel, an Apple Mac Pro desktop computer with printer and Norton antivirus software model by Marvelous Manuela, and a pair of leather chairs with an accent table model by Awesome Amber. David believed the computer was the most expensive prop. Rachel first revealed the price of the gas bill, and it was $2,049. I wasn't worried, though. Then, Amber revealed the price of the leather chairs with accent table, and it was $3,700. Drew started to worry, but I actually didn't. So, if the computer was more than $3,700, David would win all three prizes. And Manuela, who revealed the price of the computer, said that computers are always expensive. And she was right because it was $4,073. They won all three prizes for a grand total of $9,822. Tiffany, who is on a road trip from Kansas City and mentioned that her van broke down, played Lucky 7 for a 2012 Ford Focus SE with Manuel in the driver's seat. The first number in the car was 1. For the second number, she said it was 8. I thought it was 6, but it was actually 9 and it cost her $1. For the third number, she said it was 5. It was 7, cost her 2 more dollars. Then for the fourth number, she said it was 4. It was a 6, cost her 2 more dollars. So if she had $2 left, she could not miss the last number by more than $1. She said it was 4 again. So, it could be a 3, a 4 exactly, or a 5 for her to win. I felt she got this. And the last number in the car was... an 8! Oh! Tamili played Punch a Bunch for a chance to win up to $25,000. That had Amber holding the novelty bill with Drew's face on it, and Manuela was in charge of modeling the four small prizes. First, we had scratch-resistant Kate Spade designer sunglasses priced at $250. Camille believed that they were priced lower. Manuela revealed the price to be $178. It was lower. Then we had the University Games Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed game priced at $39. Camille believed that was priced lower. And Manuela revealed it to be 
Lawler was $27. Then we had a retro-inspired snow cone machine priced at $75. Camille believed it was priced higher. And Manuela revealed it to be... Lawler was $50. And finally, we had a Kat Von D eyeshadow palette priced at $13. Camille believed that was higher. And Manuela revealed it to be $34. It was higher. So she won three punches. In Camille's first punch, she got $500. She decided to throw that away. And in her second punch, she got $1,000. But she decided to throw that away, too. If it was me playing, I would have kept the $1,000. So on to her third and final punch. And she ended up with... $250. So that will be a consolation win on her behalf. Christopher, who is an Air Force maintenance officer, humored us earlier in the show by combing his mustache, also bidding $2 on a Michael C. Fina necklace. He played free spring for a trip to Seattle modeled by Amber. Oddly enough, Amber modeling a trip to Seattle for free spring was something we saw earlier in the season. Christopher froze the price inside the frame at $5,214. I actually felt good about this. The actual retail price? $5,214! He's on his way to Seattle. Myrtle played That's Too Much for a Nissan Juke S modeled by Rachel. She said the three words on the fifth price, $25,740. Was she a winner? No, she went two prices too many. The actual retail price was $20,330 revealed by Rachel on the price that was too much, $20,902. Finally, Sarah, a beautiful blonde with nice tits, played one right price for a M3 multi-station inspired fitness home gym modeled by Amber and a four-person for a sauna modeled by Rachel. Manuela brought out the one right price of $3,000. Sarah believed it went to the home gym. And when Manuela revealed the one right price, it turned out to be $3,000! Four ninety-five. I wish she had chosen that sauna because it was three thousand dollars. The shame she didn't win because she would look really nice wearing a towel for a sauna. Of course, she would look good without a towel as well. <laughs> So today, the end of the week, we had most expensive and free frame as the two big wins, and we gave away $250 in punch of them. Camille gets contestant recognition for her $250 win, almost said $250,000, but it would have been nice, but $250 as contestant recognition for Camille, and the MVPs are David and Christopher. Christopher did pretty well today. Not only he won his trip to Seattle and free spring, but he won his showcase that involved three more trips. San Francisco, Switzerland, and the Amalfi Coast in Italy. This week, the Price is Right Price Game Recap is sponsored by WWE 12. WWE 12. Bigger, badder, better. And now it's Friday, so I got a sponsor spoiler for you all. Next week, the Price is Right Price Game Recap will be sponsored by Duncan Hines, Apple Caramel, Decadent Ingredient Rich Cake Mix. And before I go for the weekend, I'd like to point out to all of you that today we are 16 days away from Christmas. Tomorrow will be 15 days away. And on Sunday, 14 days. So two weeks from this Sunday is Christmas Day. Have a good weekend, everybody. See you back here Monday.